to do is a continuation of what we've been doing. Um, we're going to finish up the rear legs and start the stage strip. Now, the trimming of the rear legs is not done in conjunction with starting of the stage strip. We're just putting them together for the purposes of making a video a certain length. Trim the rear legs or, or work them down and then we're going to start the stage strip. The thing you need to remember is that hair growing back when you pull it out takes six to eight weeks for it to just basically break through. It's going to take you about ten weeks before it's a coat. And if you're working with furnishings, you're talking 12, 16 weeks before you've got anything that you can work with on an Irish Terrier. An Irish Terrier requires very short hair. So if you're working with a wire or an Airedale or something, you're going to want to work way in advance of that. So once again, using some hydrating spray, you lightly mist, and I mean lightly mist, the hair. What that does, it hydrates the hair, of course, that's what it's supposed to do. It also um, gives the hair a little elasticity so that when you're combing through it, you're not just going to rip it out or break it off. Then I'm going to pull it out like I've shown you before. Now we can see, if you look at it, there's like a line right along here that I'm going to follow. That's more than I normally would do, but because we're pulling the dog way back. Um, okay. So, do you see that line? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're just going to start. And we're just going to pull that off back to that line. Now this is way too harsh for like an everyday go to the dog show kind of a thing, but it's not harsh for what we're trying to do here, and that is grow new leg hair. That quickly, I've put a new line on there. Pretty quick, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's move around to the behind area. Okay, so now, we have to trim the inside and the outside of this hair. So again, you can see a line right there where you want to just now you want to take because he's missing hair here. We're going to take this pretty tight down here so that we can create a straight line. You're not behaving very well. We're trying to create a straight line there. You can use your comb as a straight edge. Now we're going to come over here and try to create the same thing. Well, to do that, we're going to have to pull a lot of this off. There's way too much hair in here. A couple of things that we're using today is old school texture clean to clean the coat, deodorize the dog, make the hair something you can work with. We're using uh, panogenic um, ha uh, hydrating spray. That's uh, to rehydrate the hair, keep it from breaking when you're combing it. It gives it a certain amount of elasticity. It also rounds the hair shaft by filling it, you know, rehydrating it. And, uh, making it straighter that way. Okay, 
so it's not going to look great right now. But it will. Now I'm going to do the back here. Okay, so one of the things we're going to need to do on these rear legs is make sure we take good care of this hair in here so that it's going to grow back and it's not going to wear it off in the meantime. So we're going to put him in some good cream rinse and good hydrating spray. Um, and even maybe some hot oil treatments. Okay, there's a leg knocked out that fast. All dogs have these problems. They're not really problems, but you can help them. If you put your hand on your dog, right here is his shoulder blades and his withers. And then there's a little tiny dip before the top line. In this dip, we're going to take out a little circle about that big round. This is the start of our stage strip. All you want to do is just make sure you feel it, know where you want to pull this out. Okay, that's all I want to do, right there. Now, I want to do just right here where the neck hits the shoulders. Just a little tiny spot right here. One thing you want to remember is that the hair is yay long. Even when you're working the coat, maybe the hair will be that long. When you pull the end of the hair, you're creating a hole, not at the end where you're pulling it, but at the beginning where the hair grows out. So I'm pulling the hair here to get it from here. So I got a little hole here and a little hole here. And that's the beginning of the um, stage strip and in 10 days we're going to do some more. That's it. We're using a soft slicker brush. Not very much in this particular video but this is a, happens to be a doggy man. It's very soft. This is what we use with the with the uh, old school texture clean. A good this one happens to be a fine uh, stripping knife but as we strip and we get into a big project like full body, we're going to want to step that up to a, a medium or a coarse. A good palm pack, which you can't buy today, which I am working on trying to come out with. That'll be the old school palm pack. Good comb. Greyhound comb is the only thing I use. Greyhound is the best. Never been one better, never will be one better. A nice uh, uh, bore nylon brush. Uh, this one happens to be 
uh, from Ashley Craig, and uh, it is an absolutely wonderful coat or brush to use on the coat. And then a blending knife. Uh, this is for uh, just touching up and getting things to blend together. And of course, the diamond coated um, metal stone that uh, Eric Salas has that uh, um, Ashley, where you buy them is Ashley Craig. Okay, that's it for today.